from Atlanta, North Carolina, we move north to Washington, D.C., the nation's capital, could see its biggest snow and ice storm in four years. Federal government offices are closed for the day. Chip Reed is in Washington on the National Mall. Chip, good morning. Well, good morning, Charlie and Nora. It's not just the federal government that's closed, it's this entire city. This street, 14th Street, is a major commuter thoroughfare into the city. We've seen more snow plows than cars there this morning. Of course, the Washington Monument and all the other monuments and memorials are closed today. Over here, we have the Agriculture Department closed, the Smithsonian Castle, and all the other museums along the mall closed. And all the way down the end, you can barely see it there, the U.S. Capitol, they voted to raise the debt limit and hightailed it out of town. Down, at least the ones who could catch a plane because National Airport is now closed. Here in D.C. so far we have about eight inches of snow. They're expecting about a foot west of here in Maryland and Virginia. They're getting a lot more than that. But one good piece of news here, we're not getting the kind of ice they got down in Georgia and the Carolinas. We're getting plain old snow, so there won't be as many power outages, and it's perfect for making snowballs. Charlie and Nora? <laughs> good times, Chip Reed. Thank you.